Welcome to an intro example on how to factor by grouping. Looking at the given polynomial expression, notice how it has degree two, and therefore we have a quadratic expression. Also notice how we have an even number of terms, which is required to apply the technique of factor by grouping. So even though these two middle terms are like terms, we do want to leave it in this form in order to apply factor by grouping. But notice how, but if we did combine these like terms, because negative two x minus nine x is equal to negative 11 x, the given expression is equivalent to x squared minus 11 x plus 18 in simplified form. But again, because we're learning the factor by grouping technique, we do want to leave it in this form here. So step one is to divide or group the polynomial into two halves. So because we have four terms, the first half would be the first two terms, the second half would be the second two terms. So let's rewrite this as x squared minus two x. That's the first half. The second half is going to be minus nine x plus 18. Step two, we factor out the greatest common factor from the first and second half. So looking at just these first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor would be x. So again, we'll factor out x just from the first two terms. So we'd have x times the quantity x minus two. And looking at just the second two terms, notice how the greatest common factor is nine. But if we factor out a positive nine, we're going to be left with negative x plus two. Remember, our goal here is to have a common binomial factor. So instead of factoring out positive nine, we'll factor out negative nine. So we'll write minus nine, and then we're left with a positive x and then a negative two, so we have the quantity x minus two. Of course, we can always check this by distributing. Negative nine times x is negative nine x. Negative nine times negative two is positive 18. So our last step is to factor out the common polynomial factor, or in this case, the common binomial factor of x minus two. Notice how both of these products contain a factor of x minus two. So if we factor out x minus two, notice how we'd be left with x minus nine, which is the second factor. So this is the factored form of the given quadratic expression. Of course, if we do want to check this, we can multiply this out. So let's go ahead and find this product. We have the quantity x minus two times the quantity x minus nine. We'll have four products. We distribute the x first, then we distribute negative two. So we'd have x times x is x squared. X times negative nine would be negative nine x or minus nine x. Negative two times x is negative two x or minus two x. And finally, we have negative two times negative nine, which is positive 18, so we have plus 18. Notice how this expression is equivalent to the given expression even though the two middle terms are in a different order. If we took it one more step and simplified completely by combining like terms, we'd have x squared, and again, negative nine x minus two x is negative 11 x, minus 11 x plus 18, which you know from above is equivalent to the given expression. So we verified this is factored correctly. I hope you found this helpful.